Did you know that Australia once waged war on emus? Yes, emus, the large, flightless birds native to Australia. This peculiar event, known as the Great Emu War of 1932, is an astonishing chapter of human-animal conflict in history. Now let's delve deeper into this strange tale. After World War I, Australia faced a critical issue, how to reintegrate its soldiers back into society. The government decided to turn these war veterans into farmers, allocating land to them in Western Australia. They were entrusted with the cultivation of wheat, a strategy that seemed promising initially. However, the onset of the Great Depression and a drastic fall in wheat prices left these new farmers in despair. Their plight worsened when they faced an invasion, not by enemy soldiers, but by emus. An estimated 20,000 emus began to infiltrate the farmlands, decimating crops and wreaking havoc on the landscape. These avian invaders left the already struggling farmers in dire straits. This led to an unusual plea for help, with the farmers turning to the government for assistance. The government responded by declaring what we now refer to as the Great Emu War. They entrusted the mission to Major GPW Meredith of the Royal Australian Artillery, armed his men with Lewis machine guns, and set out to reduce the emu population. The operation commenced on November 2, 1932. But what was expected to be a quick and decisive victory turned into an extended operation. The emus, with their ability to run at 50 kilometers per H, proved to be elusive targets. Their incredible resilience added another layer of complication, often taking multiple bullets before finally falling. Public reaction to this operation was varied. Some lauded the government's decision to protect the farmers, while others criticized the use of military resources against a bird species. The media often covered the war with a comical spin, adding to the already bizarre nature of this event. Faced with these challenges, the soldiers were forced to innovate. They attempted to mount machine guns on trucks, turning the operation into a mobile chase. Yet the emus countered this by splitting into smaller groups, making it harder for the soldiers to make any substantial impact on their numbers. After a little over a month on December 10th, Major Meredith's forces were withdrawn. They had expended nearly 10,000 rounds of ammunition and managed to kill about a thousand emus. But this was only a small fraction of the emu population that continued to raid crops. The Great Emu War ended without a clear winner, with the emus continuing their destruction of crops. In the aftermath, the government introduced a bounty system, which proved more effective in curbing the emu population than military intervention ever did. Reflecting on this unusual event, the Great Emu War stands as a testament to the unpredictability of nature and how it can clash with human endeavors. It serves as a reminder that history can be as peculiar as it is profound, filled with stories that make us question the boundaries of belief